Hi, I'm Hasmeen Garza, fashion editor for The Review Journal, and I'll be filling in for Nate Tannenbaum. Here's a look at some of the many stories coming soon to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Trevor Nettleton, the officer killed in a shootout with would-be robbers in the garage of his North Las Vegas home last week, was honored on the strip before his funeral procession Wednesday. We have all the details in print and online. Review Journal writer Richard Lake writes an inspiring story about Raymond and Rudolphine Pransky, an elderly couple that lost nine family members in a plane crash 20 years ago. The couple donate time and money to those in need and refuse to dwell on the past. In Neon Thursday, check out Sonia Paget's Black Friday story to learn just how early some of the specials will get started this year at local malls. The image section highlights a new cosmetic boutique and interviews Marilyn Crawford, a local businesswoman who stars in Bravo's new reality show, Launch My Line. Our sports section covers the UNLV Holy Cross basketball game at Thomas & Mack. Ed Graney writes about UNLV football receiver Brian Wolfe's college football career-ending foot injury. Steve Karp brings us the Las Vegas locomotives preparation for the championship game. And the UNLV basketball team prepares for the 16th ranked University of Louisville team. According to attorneys at Gordon Silver, who represented Herbst in bankruptcy court, other casino operators could very well follow the blueprint designed for Herbst if the recession continues. You can find this story in the business section. And in case you hadn't heard, RJTV is now iPhone friendly. Simply make a web bookmark out of this address. RJTV is on 24-7 on the Review Journal website and now on your iPhone too. For all your weather updates, follow along at our all-in-one spot for current conditions and forecasts at lvrj.com weather. And of course, for breaking news 24-7, you are already here, reviewjournal.com.